Hey everybody, Clint Hall with Alternative Athletics here. Put up a sign at the gym that said, don't be a pumpkin. Kinda in the spirit of Halloween. It led to some discussions that I wanna get into, so I'm making this video. So the first thing was I had two initial reactions for most people. Either people went, hey, I have no idea what you're talking about here, what does this mean? Or they said it was automatically assumed that it was about body shaming. So don't be a pumpkin, don't have a round body type. At the gym is something that we are working on, but more importantly, when you think about the quintessential pumpkin style body type, what you're looking at is insulin resistance. And so when you start getting into that, we're looking at heading to pre-diabetic, starting down the road to type two diabetes. It's harder to get that insulin sensitivity back and to get your body working in a manner in which Food is medicine. It's, it's the thing we always talk about here. Don't worry about the scale, but do worry about how your clothes fit. You know, if you're putting on muscle mass and your waist stays the same and you're gaining weight, that is not a negative thing. That's actually a very healthy thing. But at the same time, if you're losing weight or putting on weight and the belt's getting tighter and tighter, then we really gotta start looking into nutrition. However, when I put this up, what I was actually talking about was a couple of other things. That didn't actually cross my mind first. What I was thinking about first was false toughness. What happens to a pumpkin after the very first frost, right? It turns soft, it turns mushy. Pretty soon, if you don't take it and put it in the compost or in the garbage, you got yourself a pumpkin pancake that's gonna be a pain in the butt to get off your sidewalk. Good saying we always had back in the Navy, back in buds, anybody can do one day of buds. The hard part, the toughness, is showing up every day. And this also leads to discipline, right? So everybody is looking for that motivation. You set a new goal, a new race, uh, a new weightlifting meet, uh, a target number, I'm gonna hit this number. It's the little processes that happen day after day, the small things, getting consistent first, getting to the gym and setting up a routine so that you don't wreck yourself and have to take the rest of the week off. One training day to give up three other training days doesn't make sense. It's the little things, the consistent things, the small gains, show up, make sure you get your recovery in, don't crush yourself every time, but get enough that you can keep working out and keep making progress, right? Discipline always trumps motivation. And then setting up the positive things that get you that discipline, right? Whether that's a workout buddy, so you have accountability, uh, even just checking in with your coach and saying like, all right, I'm gonna be here tomorrow. If I'm not here tomorrow, give me a call, that sort of thing. Another thing that I really, want most people to think about, especially in our gym, a pumpkin. It's got fairly limited use. What do you do with that pumpkin, right? You either cut it up into a jack-o'-lantern, possibly you make pumpkin pie, but I don't know a lot of people making pumpkin pie from scratch anymore. It looks pretty for a little bit, it's got maybe one function, and then you're done with it. And our focus, as I've said many times, is general physical preparedness, GPP. We wanna be good at multiple things, not just one thing. I want you to be strong, but I also want you to be fast. I want you to be able to do some endurance, whether that's helping your buddy move all day or having to give CPR for half an hour, 45 minutes, that sort of thing. Be well-rounded, have a lot of uses. As a person who really struggles with pumpkin-flavored anything, I find this time of year, and the pumpkin flavored lattes and the pumpkin flavored candles to be very unoriginal. Try new things. Uh, get out there and try new movements, try new food. Hardest part with nutrition is that once we get dialed in, we've weighed our chicken, we've weighed our broccoli, and now we know what we need to do. This one's broccoli, this one's chicken. You end up doing the same thing over and over again. Pretty soon you're sick of it, throw it to the side, your diet fails, right? Your nutrition fails. You're not longer, you're using it as medicine, but you're just bored. Uh, there's a reason that there were locks on spice cabinets in the Middle Ages. Right now we live in a time of abundance. Use that to find things that fall into your protocols, Asian dishes, Mexican dishes, whatever you gotta do to take and have new things. Something that's not original. Try it, decide if you wanna keep it in your list, but the more things you have in your toolbox, whether that's movements at the gym or that is recipes in the cupboard, the longer and the easier it is to sustain a lifestyle of fitness. All right, guys, don't be a pumpkin.